PhotoZoom is a program specifically designed for cropping, resizing, and enlarging digital photos and graphics, revealing fine details and producing high quality results, even for extreme enlargements. PhotoZoom can be used as a standalone program or as a plugin from within PaintShop Pro or PhotoPaint. It includes dozens of presets for different types of images and provides batch processing options as well. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. You can find PhotoZoom in the welcome book of your PaintShop Pro software. Click the home icon, open Get More, and filter the list by plugin. I'm starting in PaintShop Pro with this photo of a small flower. To open PhotoZoom, I can access the plugin by choosing File, Export, Plugins, PhotoZoom. The photo appears in the workspace with its file size, dimensions, and resolution listed at the top left. To see more detail, I can change the preview zoom level, which doesn't resize, just changes the view. At the top, I can use the navigation tool to pan to where I want. There are also options to flip or rotate the image, and four different preview modes. The selection tool is used to define the area I want to keep, and I can click Crop to remove everything outside the selected area. I can print this new version of the photo, or click Save, and choose from several image formats, each with their own set of quality options. For another example, I'm starting in Photo Paint with this small butterfly photo. From here, I can also access PhotoZoom by choosing File, Export 4, PhotoZoom. The current size is about 3.5 by 5, but I want to use this photo for a large print, say 12 inches wide. When I enter the new width, the aspect ratio is constrained so the height updates as well. As the scan line moves down the photo, the level of detail increases. I can also increase the resolution to 300 dpi, which enlarges the preview even more. I'll decrease the zoom preview and split the preview vertically to make comparisons. On either side, I can navigate to the spot I want to focus on. I'll choose the left window and keep the S spline max resize method which is generally the best method for most photos. On the right side, the resize method is nearest neighbor, whose look is a bit pixelated, so I'll switch to the same S spline max method. Within each resize method are several presets, such as the default generic. When I switch to Remove JPEG Artifacts Extreme, the edges of the wing become much crisper. These are the default settings for this preset, and I'll increase the vividness for more color saturation. Another preview option is splitting the image in half with different settings on either side of the split line. After both sides are scanned, I can move the split line to explore differences all across the photo. I'll go back to vertical preview and zoom out to see the differences side by side. Because the default settings for the preview on the right were changed, the preset is now custom made, and I can use the drop down to save these settings as part of a custom preset to use in future photos. When PhotoZoom is opened as a plugin from PaintShop Pro or PhotoPaint, the open and new batch commands are not available since I'm working with a single image. But when PhotoZoom is opened as a standalone program, either from the Start menu or Desktop icon, both of these options are available. I'll click New Batch to resize multiple images at once. I can click Add Images to choose multiple images to process, or I can use Add Folder to bring in a whole folder's worth of images. I can go one by one and set new sizes and resize methods, or I can do this for a selected group of images, or I can click Select All to apply the same settings to every image in the folder. I'll click Start, and set where to save the processed images and their format. Now I can click Start Batch and PhotoZoom will do the rest. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on PhotoZoom. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.